Now let's try this problem. When each of the four tires of a car is inflated to a gauge pressure of 250 kilopascals, the two front tires each has a footprint of 0.012 meters squared, and the two rear tires each has a footprint of 0.01 meters squared. What is the mass of the car? I'm using one tire here to represent all four tires. The gauge pressure inside the tires is 250 kilopascals. This means the pressure inside the tires is 250,000 pascals higher than the atmospheric pressure. The pressure outside the tires is the atmospheric pressure. So the pressure difference between the inside and the outside of the tires is 250,000 pascals. This pressure difference provides a force pushing down on the ground. That is the pressure times the area. And this pressure here is the pressure difference between the inside and the outside. The tires push down on the ground with this force, while the ground pushes back on the tires with a normal force. And these two forces are action force and reaction force pair, so these two forces are equal. The force from the pressure difference, pressure difference times the area equals to this uh, normal force. We also know that the normal force from the ground on a car equals to the mg of the car. So this equals to the mg of the car. And uh, we know the pressure difference is 250,000 newtons per meter squared. The area of the tires for all four of those will be 2 times uh, 0.012 plus the 0 0.01 times the two rear tires. So you do this calculation, you'll get 11,000 newtons. And this equals to the mg of the car. That means the mass of the car must be 1,100 kilograms.